Hey, what's up, everyone? Mori Croson here, and today we're going to be breaking down Trayvon Bromel's new block start, and we're going to start the video right now. This is the newest edition of the Performance Lab. Reach your individual goals. You don't want to just talk about straight line speed. We also want to talk about your ability to be quick. We break down your video. Let's make you into the quarterback I know you can become. All right, so this is something that has gone viral here probably about a week ago now. I just recently saw somebody else breaking this down. was like, oh, shoot, I should have thought about breaking down Trayvon Bromel's new start. So I am going to go ahead and do that here for you. Go give a little bit more in-depth of a look of what it is that we're seeing within this start. It's very interesting to see Trayvon Bromel go through this just because I didn't think his, his start was bad before. I thought his start was pretty good, actually. And to see him trying to make changes and adjustments is definitely interesting, uh, but I I can see where there are some differences in what he's trying to do. And we'll go ahead and get right into it here. So we got the new block start here on the right. And then this is a, a 60 that he did last year on the left. Or it actually might have been two years ago. But uh, what we're seeing here on the right is, and, and we're going to get a little bit into the numbers. I know you guys don't love the numbers and I don't want to get too much into it. But I do think it's important to be able to see and, and be able to recognize and understand. And so what we're seeing is this back foot come off the ground, 0.98, right? Landing back on the ground at really 0.08 is what I thought it was, right? 0.16, by there he's landing. Okay, so that's 0.2 seconds. It's amazing amount of time there. So even this was like really good before. I thought this was a really good time where he'd get off the ground here at about 0.83. And then he's getting his foot back down at about 03, right? So that was about 0.3 seconds. And that was am amongst the best, you know, maybe getting closer down to, you know, there's some women sprinters that were able to get in like the mid two fives, two sixes. Uh, but that was what we saw a lot of times with people that were in that like 0.3 range. But what he just did with this is now he's in 0.2 from when that back foot comes off the ground to then striking back down onto the ground. So now looking at the right one, what it is is, I, I said it was off the ground at about point. 08 and then it comes back onto the ground or lands on the ground at about 38 right and that's like the weird step that's the step that makes it seem like he's almost like falling right and that's what makes it like look weird in the eyes is this right step because it's so far bent a lot of times what we're seeing is as this step comes through guys are getting more extension in this leg as it's hitting the ground and for him on this one here he had about the same numbers where it came off at at 00 and then he hit back on the ground about 0.3 one ish okay i know this is saying it's 0.33 but basically on the ground so i don't think it was that full three hundredths of a second so i just said three one you know somewhere in that general area but again we could see like when he's landing here his foot is way more up underneath the hip which is what makes it look a lot more clean where this one his foot is way out in front of him and he's reaching a lot which is what makes it so you know as we're seeing it it, it doesn't look as natural when he's landing with with that foot there okay and then then he's able to get this foot through too. This left foot now comes up and through. The big difference that ends up happening though is he, to me, seems like he, the foot contact time is a little bit longer than what we'd like to see. So what we're, we're seeing on the left here in terms of foot contact time is, again, a lot more of the normal type of times where we see, I mean, 0.2 might have been a little bit long with that first step. Okay, so we're seeing 0.2 there. We see 0.12 on the next step. And then we see 0.1 on the third step step and those are all good times this one could get a little bit better and that might be what he's trying to improve as well because here he did get off the ground closer to one seven which is good and then but then these ones are all not great this one's one six and then again here with one seven so he spends a lot more time on the ground here and what ended up happening is i mean i went through this whole thing and so this would be his third step and this is fourth so he's landing i guess this one maybe is 0.86 i'd make it a little bit faster so he started at 0.98 and then he's landing at 0.86 so that would be that would make it faster that would be 0.88 okay uh originally i was like they're basically the same it's like that doesn't even really make that big of a difference and so this one he gets off he starts at 0.83 and then by the time he gets to this step here he's at seven three right when he's landing with this step so that's closer to, to 0.9 right so maybe he saved an extra hundredth of a second i do think that he, he's in a little bit better spot here personally I, i'm not a huge fan of the new start that he's doing um i mean obviously i don't know if you guys are are watching this wanting to get my opinion on it but uh if you were wanting to get my opinion on it i would say that's the thing is is i don't think he's in ag as good of a position here to continue to build speed right i, I love the first 
first two steps, how quick he is and, and how fast and explosive the movements are. But when he's getting here, he's really not in a great spot when it comes to building speed and being able to continue to accelerate. He's, he's back behind a little bit too much with his leg, right? So we can see the difference between like here, his foot is in a better spot and we're not in as, in as good of an angle here, but you can just kind of generally see that the foot's in a lot better better spot here to be able to come off the ground the ground and come right forward and through or a little bit maybe longer too. Let's see, so maybe this step could be a better example. Okay, but it's, it's the same concept, right? He's in a better position right here when it comes to the principles that we talk about with acceleration. So we don't want to end up getting stuck with this foot back behind and it seems like with this new start that he's doing that's exactly what he ends up doing so he's really in not a great position to be able to get those hips through not in a great position to be able to effectively get into his top speed now he might just be wanting to get out in front a little bit better and then from there be able to get into a better position when it comes to his top end speed and uh, really understanding the ability to get into his top speed but again I, I think that what he was doing before there's a lot of things that he was doing really really good before with his running i think that we needed to be able to concentrate a little bit more on his transition from you know here into getting into his actual top speed and being able to maximize that foot contact and and the length that he has because when he was in college i almost liked how he was striking the ground better in top speed um than he is now but that's my opinion right so you know just wanted to give you guys a little bit of breakdown a little bit of insight into this trayvon bromel breakdown very interesting to see this new technique uh, very difficult to do. I definitely would not recommend this because it's a very challenging thing to do and be able to get off the ground as quickly as he does. As, as much as his foot contact times were long, uh, it would be interesting to see where he was distance wise fourth step right here in comparison to that fourth step here like if it was really making it so he was covering a lot more ground that'd be an interesting thing to see if that's why he's doing this new step is to be able to get more horizontal movement quicker and, and that's the whole idea that's the whole concept and if that's the case then i mean it's definitely doing that uh it, it seems like he's in a more horizontal position but he also seems a lot lower so i don't know if he's necessarily getting more distance because of that so yeah it'd be interesting to be able to get a better understanding of exactly how much range he's getting within those first four steps so yeah, as always guys, thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Like the video, subscribe as always. You guys can check out some of the things that we have in the description down below in terms of programs that we're offering, things that we could help you in being able to get faster. I'm big on the mechanics. I'm get big in getting in the specifics of the numbers and, and really making it so there's a true why behind the exercises that we're doing and the just over drills, everything. Why is it that we want to be able to focus on certain Certain parts of your your running mechanics and i want to be able to make it as scientific as possible i don't want to go out here and be broad with the information that i'm giving you i want to make it so it's as specific as possible i want to make it so it's as personalized and as individual as possible at the end of the day when it comes to speed there are some things where it's like you know these are the best ways to be able to build the hamstrings and so when it comes to running faster we got to be able to build the hamstrings so you've got to be doing those types of exercises but when it comes into the drills and the exercises and, and what it is that we're doing and what it is that we're focusing on and why it is that we're focusing on that area i want to be specific i want to be personalized i want to make it so it's as direct as possible to make it so you then get the best results because we don't make it direct if we don't make it so you really understand what it is that you're trying to apply to your running mechanics i think that that ends up being a big air big problem and why people struggle in being able to get to the next level so uh yeah as always guys thanks for watching the video again like subscribe and we'll talk to you soon